Now we can focus on different types of restriction and modification system or RM system. In different type of microbes, different type of restrictions and modification systems are present that can be categorized as type 1, type 2, type 3. So these are the main three types. And sometimes the fourth type, it is also called as type seconds. It can also be recognized in some microorganisms. No, type 1 system was the first one to be elucidated or discovered from E. coli K12. So, as we have discussed earlier, from the standpoint of gene manipulation procedures, so this is not so important. Why? Because practically it is not good. The reason is that this type 1 restriction enzyme it cleaves the DNA randomly. So, if we analyze the structure of type 1 restriction enzyme, so mainly it is a multi protein complex. So, it composed of different type of subunits and restriction subunit and methylation subunit they belongs to the same enzyme. So, this means that there is one enzyme that cuts the DNA ko cut bhi kar raha hai aur DNA ko modify bhi kar raha hai. So, basically it is composed of five subunits that included two restriction subunits, two modification subunits and one recognition subunit. And for the proper functioning of type 1 restriction enzyme, it requires some cofactors like uh, uh, for modification that includes the process of methylation of different bases and as well as cutting, it requires ATP and the presence of S-adenosyl methionine. So, it needs cofactors. As I told you that the same enzyme is responsible for cutting and methylation. If DNA it is unmodified, it is being fragmented. And once it has been modified by the same enzyme, then cutting is not possible. So, this is one of the uh, basic reason and another reason uh, that is uh, they are not uh, practically valuable is that uh, they can recognize a particular DNA sequence but cut away from that recognition site and cleave the DNA randomly. So that's why they are not valuable in gene manipulation. The next enzyme which is called as type 2 restriction enzymes, they are more valuable. The reason is that they recognize a particular target sequence. No target sequence, it may be composed of 4 base pair, 6 base pair or 8 base pair we are going to discuss after this topic. And within these recognition sites, these enzymes have the ability to cut the DNA into discrete fragments that can be used for further manipulation by using different type of uh, vectors DNA. So, another point is that this enzyme has separate modification and restriction activity. So, separate enzyme for these two purposes that is separate enzyme for restriction and separate enzyme for modification. Another benefit is that uh, this enzyme do not require any cofactors to cut the DNA. So, type 2 restriction enzymes nowadays they are commonly used in the process of cutting and joining especially cutting of DNA molecules. Then another time the, uh, type that is also not so much valuable it is type 3 restriction enzyme. They are more closely related to type 1 although they can recognize a specific DNA sequence and like the type 1 they cut away from the recognition site. So, the DNA fragments that are generated they are random. So, 
desirable fragment length sometime it is not possible. So, they are also not used in gene manipulation. The last category which is called as type seconds because they are uh, structurally they are more closely related to type 2 restriction enzymes but they are also have no value. Is ki kya reason hai? Is ki bhi reason yahi hai ke aldo ke ye ek specific DNA sequence ko ya target site ko to recognize karte hai. But they also cut away from the target sequence. So that's why they also have no value in the process of gene manipulation. So type 2 restriction endonucleases they are mainly used. Why they are called as uh, endonucleases? Because they can cut within the, within, uh, inside of the DNA, not at the margin, within the uh, central point of the DNA. So that's why they are called as endonucleases.